This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash SGPN and use code SGPN for a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get fifty percent off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Plus the MMA gambling podcast just launched their YouTube channel to celebrate. We're giving away a MMA gambling podcast hoodie. Head over to sports podcast.com slash MMA hoodie for all the details. Hey, what's up? You degenerate gamblers. This is bill Burr and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Showtime my home. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Ciao. <laughs> All right, we're going with the chow like that. Good energy. Uh, and and joining us. I want to make sure people don't hear football voice. Okay. This, this so I want to make sure they understand <laughs> this is mm, slightly not different football. speed. Talking some hoops. Ciao. Joining us from the college football experience and college basketball experience, here to talk a little CBB. Colby Dan, aka the Dan Tabase, aka Pick Dundee. What's happening, Colby? Oh, I mean, it's just a beautiful time to be alive, right? I mean, this is when this is really to me like, I yeah, you get your August, September where we get super excited, but when you merge all sports, oh yes. You know, you got the holidays. I know you go on this uh, kind of merging. What what other merging do you do? You you, you go on this retreat. <laughs> You've been where, merging with your hands. Where you go out to the desert and don't watch sports because oh. you're a little f- f- fugazi. You know what I mean? But ah, uh, oh, sorry if I like nature. Yeah, he hates watching football and hates Thanksgiving, so he does everything he can to avoid it. I'm not a big fan of Thanksgiving, <laughs> like or, football or Christmas you just or strike, birthdays. Yeah. You're a Burning Man guy, Ryan, real Jehovah's Witness Kramer over here. <laughs> what are you a broad? No. You want to celebrate your birthday for a month, Sean? <laughs> I just think you're you're. Yay! Wa- let's decorate. <laughs> D- oh, no, let's get dressed up. Not during my birthday month, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> I just your war on all holidays is is a funny take. You sound like my wife. Hey, we got college basketball. We got uh we got well I think perfect way to start it is unfortunately the passing of Bobby Knight who it was uh, it was pretty funny everyone trying to give a eulogy where they also still had a crowbar in that he was kind of a dick uh, they would just go you know it was a great coach complicated legacy a uh, uh, he's like a um, a unique character, an American original. They like no one wanted to say, "Hey, you really busted your balls." Well, he, I mean, he, I, you know, eventually you you burn the bridge and you move on. And I think maybe it, you have to say nice things nowadays. <laughs> I guess it was just funny. Everyone but, wanted, but everyone have- wanted to give a glowing uh, eulogy of him without being like, but also acknowledging that he. Was maybe a dick at times. Uh, it was just funny them trying to find well, the words. I mean, for it. it's like the burr bit. He lived too long, right? I mean, uh, you died ten years ago. No one's got a problem with him, right? Yeah, pro- yeah. I mean, I don't think I don't think anyone really had a problem with him. They're just paranoid that if they give this glowing eulogy without some coded language to be like, well, he did try and choke that one kid. Yeah. Uh, that dude, that I had a, I, dude, I had a science teacher headbutt me in <laughs> in, in 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 school. Wait, right? what was how did that? I happen? wasn't paying attention, and you know we had had a couple feuds, and he came over and headbutted me. <laughs> so right, a, and it's like okay. you call that? You, hey, you want? I'll smash some neurons. Yeah, no CTE here. <laughs> all right, we're starting. To, this is again. You spend enough time with Colby, everything makes sense. <laughs> No, was he leading with his head? I guess he when led he with his head, and guess what? I didn't go to the office because I I knew I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Cause wow. and effect, right? Uh, I love a headbutt. I mean, I had a gym teacher that just uh, there was this kid acting up. He cupped him by the head. 
picked him up by his head and carried him outside. Like, oh. like, like a good. I, I will say five hundred yards. There is, uh, and the kid was kicking and fighting. And he said, "If you spit on me, I'll punch you in your fucking face." Love this it. is fourth grade. Yes, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm a, probably around more children than you are, and both fair. You. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> I will say there is a general lack of any sort of fear of getting your ass kicked by an adult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, like there, there was a moment where I had to kind of sternly be a parent recently, mm. and yeah. and you might have thought I throw throw a punch. Yeah, it, like whoa, what are you doing? The older generation just had like uh, I remember a great article when I was a kid. Wes Unsel was the head coach of the Washington Bullets, former uh, yes, we, Louisville course. power forward and NBA champ, and uh, and he Manute Bowl was was uh, one of his players, and he's sitting there trying to break down film. And Manute Bowl wasn't paying attention, so he actually lifted him up from the seat wow. as he got up, and Manute Bowl, Manute Bowl's head went through the ceiling. What? Because he's seven foot seven, so he wasn't <laughs> anticipating him standing up as he went to go lift him up, and his head went through the the, the ceiling, and and that was the story of the Washington Post. And I was like, man, this is fantastic. This Wes Unsel guy can't coach for shit, but I mean, hey, he's hilarious. Uh, but no, Bobby Knight was a great coach, though, man. I mean, I know uh, he was a friend of Coach Leach, and uh, you know, of obviously, of course, they were friends. Yes. What do you yes. think they talked about? Dude, but Bobby Knight's you, you, Bill Parcells was his former assistant yep. at Army. Uh Coach now, K the, is former player. The people who yeah. went through the coaching ranks at West Point. Oh, like yeah. through the history of time. It's pretty uh yeah. pretty wild, both football and basketball. All right. Uh I do have a, a if we yes. do want to uh, pay some uh respect to all time, all time Bobby Knight clip. Oh, let me. I got uh doing a lot of stuff by myself. All right. Cajun just got moved right out of position and gave up uh, oh, uh, a lot. We have an of, echo. Uh, What's going on yep. here? Oh wait. Oh, I, I have actually no way to play this with audio. Unf I don't know how. I actually don't know how to do this and not have it echo back. All right. So moving on. <laughs> just do, do yourself a favor, YouTube, uh, Bobby Knight. There's also a great. He did a golf instructional video in the '80s. Uh, or maybe early nineties where the outtakes are on YouTube. Fucking hilarious. Like oh, yes. 20 minutes of him yelling at people on set and throwing uh throwing his golf clubs. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Hold on, I figured it out. Figured All right, out. breaking I news. It out. It out. We're, gonna, we're gonna do it again. I All think right. I can do it. Cajun just got moved right out of position and gave up uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of points. I uh, Feel that uh, we we just haven't. Uh, I mean, I'm really disappointed in the in the of course kind of of fucking progress that we've made. God damn it! Fuck this show. Take this fucking show and forget it. Forget fucking <laughs> that escalated very quickly. Oh man, the zero to one hundred on Bobby <laughs> Knight was just amazing because he's trying to just be like give the, the just the generic answers. Of, <laughs> I'm disappointed, and then the cocks like it. Right? Like, <laughs> it just it just hits him how bad his team is, and he just loses. Uh, it. It's you, amazing. I, but, but you know that that guy is busting his ass for you know like that. That's one where you watch that and you go, man. You know, this really means everything to him. You know what I mean? Oh, like he cares. Yeah. Wins and losses. Uh, that's Bobby Knight is not tanking. Listen, he, it's not a rebuilding year. If for you're Bobby gonna Knight. put your hands on another person's child, <laughs> you're focused on a goal. <laughs> that, that's how I would articulate that. You are very convicted in whatever you're uh, striking that child well, for. And like, not enough flying chairs in college. It, like, it, uh, like we had the the incident. The Kansas player picked it up. He didn't even use it though. Yeah. I mean, I uh, enjoyed that, but he didn't use it. Like uh, Bobby Knight, he would at least use the chair. Uh, one of the most. No I, one sued. No nothing. Just well, you know, some fan took a chair to the shin. One of the most yeah impactful uh, moments of my one of my daughter's athletic career came from a coach losing his mind mm. in front of the whole entire team, and yeah that made shit real. Sometimes you need to have a real moment. To it's chance. real to me. Hey, you know what? It, uh, I'm gonna get real for a moment. You know what my favorite pizza is? Little Caesars. That's right, Little Caesars, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL, official pizza sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. And even though it's the official pizza sponsor of the NFL, doesn't stop you from ordering a little Little Caesars. 
uh, to watch some college hoops. We got Colby. When did when did the game start? Monday. Monday. So imagine Monday night football on the big screen, college basketball on your side screen. Uh, hopefully you have an eight screen setup, but either way, you can enjoy a delicious little Caesar's pretzel crust pepperoni pizza with that golden brown buttery soft salty crust. Uh, just pairs perfectly with the pepperoni piled high on that little Caesar's pizza. Love it. It goes great with football. Choose your favorite little Caesar's pizza. Pick the toppings you crave. Either way, you win. Is a, a lead pipe lock when it comes to deliciousness, and you can get it delivered or in store with the Pizza Portal pickup. Grab some friends, grab some slices, and enjoy it during the game. Little Caesars Pizza, pizza. Nice work, Sean. Thank you. Uh, you know, just uh, coming down off a little uh, pizza, pizza high. <laughs> some uh, dinner during Thursday the game. night. I mean, Thursday night football is just we're grinding out a ton of content. We already did our props episode. Uh, as so we could squeeze this bonus college episode in another bonus episode, Breeders' Cup. So many good episodes uh, already in the can, and then tomorrow, uh, AKA Friday, if you're listening to it, uh, DFS, and then our Veasan show, nine o'clock Pacific, live from Circa Las Vegas. All right, you want to talk some college basketball? Fuck yeah, I do. Oh, language, Sean. <laughs> All right. We got uh and, and again uh just like football this is uh, we start with Colby's six pack his <laughs> six uh, favoritest games on the slate <laughs> that also happen to be in chronological well, order. Don't ruin it. There there is an eight a.m. tip of Spalding taking on IUPUI that did not make the sh- the sheet, but it's eight a.m. Pacific time Monday. You can watch hoops throughout the whole day. IUPUI uh, once partied at IUPUI. Really? Ru- yeah, rooftop something or other downtown area. Mm. They now there's weird- is that different than IUP in Pennsylvania? IUPUI yes. and I IUPUI is in Indiana, right? Yeah, Indianapolis. Okay. And yeah. IUP. That's where my buddy uh, Justin also from the Diehard Eagles podcast I've, went. I've to. also yeah. I mean, uh, I'd say the Pennsylvania school is more fun. Hmm. But by a long shot, like the Pennsylvania, just, uh, I had a buddy who <laughs> broke his tailbone ah, at a party. The, he just kept drinking. The IUP kind of has like Radford vibes, mm. like you're the, just there to party. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. It's it, you know if, if you know what I mean. Like no one there is really like dead serious <laughs> education. Like mostly party. <laughs> you're talking about they should Justin's be better in sports. Than. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure Justin wasn't dead up on his, his studies. <laughs> no, and he was pr- probably there uh, to party. All right. So after that game uh, at 8 a.m., there's games all day, Colby says. But we don't talk about a game until 1.30 p.m. on the West Coast. We're heading to Athens, Georgia, which. No, no, no. Vegas. Oh, uh, who put this city in here? Did I put that in there? Oh, I don't think come, I did. Come on. I don't think I did that. We're did headed to that? Las Vegas, Nevada. Did I put that in? Well, uh, I, 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 I don't certainly, think I did. I certainly didn't. I'm seeing that. Athens, Georgia. I, I, I'm. No, it's it's uh, this this is a double header. There's the USC K State game later. True TV getting in early. We, normally we'd have to wait for the NCAA tournament. True, I, True I would, TV saying that. I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> that's yeah. good because w- w- everyone needs that time to figure out where True TV is on their dial because uh, people still turn a dial to watch TV. <laughs> Oregon uh, and Georgia both head to Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, on Monday, unfortunately, Sean and I will only be there Friday night for yeah. our show. Oregon laying five points. I do know Cousin Mush will be in town for the weekend. He's taking in uh, us doing a show. He's doing the trifecta. He's watching a sports gambling podcast. He's watching the Golden Knights and the Las Vegas Raiders uh, all in one week. <laughs> all the main attractions. Maybe he's, he should stick it around. I, I assume this is at the T Mobile. Uh, this is at T-Mobile, okay. correct? Yes. So yes. Uh, we got a big, big, uh, big matchup here: Oregon, uh, a, a football school, and a basketball school, and Georgia, just a football school. Trying to get back to the '80s, and guess wow. what? They just recruited Dominique Wilkins' son. When they had Dominique Wilkins, uh, they were making the Final Four. Yeah, uh, it, if that's a name I hear and t- think disappointment kid. <laughs> I mean, you can't live up to being Dominique Wilkins. It's true. Yeah, I mean, it's only the human let, highlight machine. Yeah, yeah he's only going to let people down. It's like Jordan's kids, Sands, Jimmy Butler. They've all been disappointed. <laughs> but but Mike Snow, Jordan's wait. kid is marrying uh, Pippin's wife, and so yeah, that's uh, so, so that's watch very out, watch out, Doc Rivers' wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean Georgia, Georgia. Mike Snow White came over from Florida. That was you know those are big rivals and mm. and uh, kind of a subtle fuck you, I think, because Florida fans weren't happy with them. 
and and he went sixteen and sixteen in year one. I think they take the next step forward in year two here. They should be a lot better. I think they they made the right hire. I think I think like they're gonna end up being a decent program down the line here. But at the same time, Oregon had a disappointing year uh, a season ago. People are saying Dana Altman's on the hot seat. No, I think really? I, I think he steps up. You know, has a, has a big season this year. I like I like the Ducks here in Vegas, guys. Yeah, I'm looking at the advanced numbers. Oregon better adjusted offense, better adjusted defense. I mean, you, you look at some of these some of the sharps out there, like our buddy uh, Hoops Peterson. Making this game seven and a half. No. I think there's feels like there's some. Are you cheating? Uh, you look at another man's numbers. <laughs> no, I mean if Colby had numbers, I would look at them. Oh, I'm looking at. Wow. I got I got Bart Torvik, Ken Palm. It's you all, can go get that. You can't get it here, buddy. Okay. Right? Yeah, well, if, can't get it here. Ken Palm right? has nothing. It's all zeros because they haven't played. Well, like Ken, Ken Palm <laughs> likes to actually look at what the team is. Uh, I'm Perhaps. with Colby. I'll take Oregon. The the thing is is and Ken, Ken and Folly Dante actually make it through the game. This guy gets injured at every possible spot. Say that name again. And Folly Dante. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Right? Uh but uh, the fact that Keyshawn Bartholomew, the former Colorado Buffaloes back Jermaine C- Cousinard, uh was a baller for them a, a, y- a year ago. Slices and dices. <laughs> I I think I think that the Ducks get it done here in Vegas. Uh, but I I'm, I can't wait for it, man. This is, this is a good matchup. I like this little Vegas <laughs> tournament. Ah, there we go. Do we quack? Really, I mean, quack. Hey, remember? Quack. Hey, actually, quack. this Last is the game. Oregon it was the same Georgia. matchup. Yes. The same opening, matchup. Yes. Opening day. But that was quack. football. Quack, 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 oh, quack. One hundred percent. If there's anything we people, all oh, right, you weren't in on it. I, I'm, I'm in on it. I'm uh, in on it. If there's anything people should understand, I didn't want to. I didn't want to jinx another one. He's got children. If there's anything that uh, people should know about the Pac-12 is they fuck up all the other conferences and these these weird preseason tournaments. No, that's my take. Georgia faux fo- basketball school lay the points. Although my, we would have made this number a little bit different. In which way? Oh well, I mean, Sean has his numbers. We would have made this six, Colby. Mm. So mm. Not, not quite as confident as hoops, but we like this one. Next up, so f- so dis- everyone's on Oregon minus five. Yeah, Discord gets a pick. Oh yes. Discord gets a. I should have the betting splits in front of me because this. I'm. Ah, uh, you know, there's not a lot of places with numbers out. Um, we're fun, getting ahead of the game. Well, and funny enough, you and know. So wait, are these numbers these actual posted numbers? Yes. Okay. And where'd you get them from, Cole? DK. Yeah. So, uh, we. You know, we might have betting splits. I'll see if I can find those, Sean. Next up, 4 p.m. on the West Coast, right in Char- uh, Charleston. Is, is this correct, Charleston? Charleston, South, South Carolina. Carolina. Okay. Pat Kelsey. And for some reason, we're still talking about. I, 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 Iona, even though Mr. Patino is no longer there, who, who's the new coach? The new coach, Tobin Anderson, who was at Fairleigh Dickinson when they last year. Remember, they beat Purdue in the first round. After mm. you, baby. Yeah, some BDE, uh, yes. and and you know they take over a team. I mean, he brings in a few of his guys, and then you know, Patino left them pretty talented, even though yeah. a lot transferred away. A couple came yeah. with Patino, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think just one. If memory serves. So me Charleston's correct. laying yeah. six and a half here. That spread. I mean, I I miss I miss the early uh, season bets on Patino last season. And, and it, it is fun watching him be way overdressed in those tiny little gyms. We we also got to talk Charleston Pat Kelsey last year thirty one and four. They lose a couple guys that average double digits. Three guys, one of them Ryan Larson, uh, notoriously the guy the the piece of shit that stole Noah mm. Beenix gal. <laughs> All right, uh, so you know we got eyes on you. We no, can take guys. We can take Charleston now. He's gone. All right, Larson's gone. I I like Iona in this oh. spot. To Colby's point, I think the roster is not bereft of talent. You got a new coach oh. with something to prove. Uh, six and a half feels like a <laughs> decent number. Go I, on. I'm just I'm, I'm no some some of our audience just paused the show to look up what you just said. Bereft? Yeah, yeah. You never heard that word? Oh, no, I, is that a college? I think I think they're they're so, uh, you know, D two. The D3, I, yeah, IUP yeah. grads may have to uh, go to. Dictionary.com. <laughs> yeah, I think they just moved up to D3, actually. Uh, I'm on Charleston, man. This place gets yeah. lit, man. Oh, yeah. And he's uh, he's bought into this program. And look, Larson's gone. Before I couldn't take them because of the the Beanick affiliation. Bad t- t- team Noah Beanick here. Bad team. And, well, uh, and and our numbers, I know Sean has access to other numbers, but our numbers would have made this nine and a half. Really? Probably. So we're we're heavy on Charleston here. Yeah, and this isn't a neutral spot. This you place will just, be rocking. You, you can't just Charleston? lose Rick Patino and just bounce back in your sure first game. Sure you can. Watch. 
Watch. I didn't know you the were cocktails such Cocktails will be flowing. Charleston's just a party town. Such a New the Yorker. fans will be Yeah, look that. Our Gales. Let's go. Look Iona. It. Oh no! Good he, spot for them. I'm out on the gals. Uh, Keep an eye out on C.J. Gone. Fulton, the uh, transfer uh, for for uh, for Charleston. He can play. Colby, what how what will your mood be at, at 4 p.m. when all these games are are tipping off? Fantastic! It, uh, like, here's the problem, buddy. Is I have a lot of college football shit scheduled. So mm. can we? Uh, can I record out there? <laughs> what do you mean? There's not enough TVs in here. What do you mean? I need you, to record out there. You get a little. Quiet. You guys, can you guys hang out on here on Monday? <laughs> sure. All right. Colby will be live from God's eye. <laughs> oh man! All hey, right. Uh, the the uh, daytime college basketball just makes everything so much better. It does make the day move faster. It's gonna um, uh, fucking midday school. All right. All right. Moving along. So uh, Sean disagrees with us, yep. Colby. That's probably not wise. Uh, Good what, sign. What about mm. your buddy Hoops? What did he like there? No. Uh, mm. Hoops added at Charleston minus seven and a half. Oh, interesting. Mm. Hoops. Hoops mm. kind of kind of on our side. Yeah. Yep. All right. Four p.m. I head to Morgantown. I assume this city's all this this question mark here, but Missouri. It is. It is. Missouri State, West Virginia. West Virginia lay in seven and a half. Any inside Iggy from uh, Moneyline Mac on the Mountaineers this year? Um, I think he's ex- very excited about them this year. He thinks that uh, I think they're they're going to be better than what the the market thinks. Which you know he he's a Dove v grad, so I mean, <laughs> oh, he's in the chat. You can too. ask him. Yeah, there you go. And uh, but at the same time, you know, I did did see that Kirk Krishna, the uh, the Arizona transfer, is, is suspended. I think the first nine ten games of the season. What happened? Uh, well, just take a little paycheck here. Got caught. Are you still get in trouble? For yeah, that? I don't get it. I don't. I don't. It doesn't <laughs> make any sense to me because like what, you just not Kansas, fill out the nil paperwork. How pay do you get the taxes, now? man. <laughs> I I ought to actually haven't even dove into that story, but I was a bit dumbfounded because I was like, wait oh, a second, I, Kansas is... just got Kansas and LSU just got off scot free. What the hell's going yeah. on here? Make that, a strong ass offer. That is ridiculous. So yeah, I mean. Uh, that and then obviously uh, people that maybe didn't tune out, and, you know, tune into college basketball in the off season. Bob Huggins is no longer coaching. What? Oh. Dub V. He, what happened? Uh, eh, it's it's a full. setup. <laughs> it was a setup. It was a it, it, dude. Wrong state, wrong time. <laughs> um, <laughs> this kid's getting suspended for he's missing games for something he may or may not have done in Arizona. Well, and crooked ass university program. I mean that Acock Acock a oh, cook a cook just had no. a heart attack. The yeah, other day. crazy. Yeah, you, are you back, Sean? Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, no, uh, wishing him the best. But uh, but obviously th- those are big hits, and also Raekwon Battle, the Montana State transfers waiting on a waiver. Uh, I uh, something to monitor before you bet this game, but I don't think he's going to get it personally. Oh my um, god! But Acock, Acock. Uh, I mean, that's a big. Th- isn't that? Yeah. A, isn't this? Isn't this spread a, a little high considering Acock? Acock is out. I I know <laughs> West Virginia. I know West Virginia is a good team, but Missouri State plays a little bit of defense. Uh, seven and a half. Do we, are we worried that's a hair high? I I mean I think it is a little high, I, like especially considering if Krishna was playing and, and Acock Acock, then uh, I think you you you'd say okay maybe Dovey takes care of business here, but I think seven and a half I'll take I'll take a flyer on that with the coach that you know I probably earned this spot, but at the same time we haven't seen him. Yeah, you know and it's I mean? a, like, and it's a shit ton of pressure. Yeah. I, I, I Missouri State plus seven and a half, it's a little high. Kramer, yeah, you can't lay the points every time, right? <laughs> West Virginia, uh, come on, Moneyline Mac didn't he didn't tell me what I should do, uh, but I I was I was fully committed to to being on Team West Virginia, but it seems like I'll I guess I'll go Missouri State. Even Moneyline Mac doesn't want me to back West Virginia. I mean, so. Missouri State returns a lot of minutes from from players uh, a year shit. ago. So West yeah. Virginia, Missouri State plus seven and a half. Discord can take it. Oh wow. It just feels I I don't like Missouri State on the money line. It just feels high though, especially I, for the first game. Is there a chance? They got a lot to figure out. Is there a chance we fall in love with this West Virginia game team? Oh, certainly, certainly. certainly. Definitely. Do you think they'll miss Bob Huggins? They got a huggy guy, man. So he's still there in a way. You know what I mean? Still there in a way. All right, Mac changed my mind. Give me West Virginia minus seven. <laughs> what did half. he? What did he do to change your mind? He right. said he loves when everyone picks against us. <laughs> oh, the, uh oh. Yeah. All right. I like I like Max scrappiness. When we were out in Vegas watching uh, games for March Madness, I saw there's a certain things that so that when you're like high strung about something and you also lift weights, you you have this kind of like neck shoulder muscle thing that you do when you're all like fired up. 
Like you don't like get excited like traditionally. You just kind of go like you just go oh yeah. And you just let your Tense. shoulder. And I I saw Mac do that, and I'm <laughs> sure he's doing it right now as he's watching the show involuntarily. It's like Colby when he does this, <laughs> or when you're watching his show and he's he's leaning back and forth and moving the bike. It, it's just <laughs> accidental. Aveda in the YouTube chat saying, "At least this isn't the is Jalen Hurts hurt show." Oh well, <clears throat> he is hurt. Sean admitted that he's just not injured. Oh, there's a difference. You, <laughs> you we play, got to the bottom of you it. play hurt. You don't play injured. And now we're gonna head mm. over to a, a city that's injured, Piscataway, New Jersey. The rack. Oh, they man. still call uh, it that. Uh, it, it's still the rack on our show, but it's now known as uh, Danny Jer- DeVito's Jersey Jersey Mike's Arena. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it's Tommy DeVito's Jersey right oh, Mike's wow. Arena now. Princeton. Well, what? Yeah, I'm just gonna say, is Rutgers gonna be going nuts still after their upset win over Ohio State? I heard uh, CJ on the on Colby's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, on the uh, what is it? Bombs under Dundee. Or uh, we, uh, th- this one was the weekend bombs edition okay. that we do, but the other one is the bombs down under on, on Mondays. Okay. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Uh, had had uh, Ohio State losing outright to Rutgers. So I mean, Rutgers I, could I did be not going nuts. Co-sign that one, but it, <laughs> it, you know, if that happens, if they if they beat Ohio State, there's not going to be a sober player on this Rutgers squad. <laughs> Colby almost kicked CJ off the show for that. I was that like, what? <laughs> Prince, <laughs> Prince. Colby likes crazy long shots, but even he draws the line. <laughs> Princeton heads to uh, you don't like Shion. Princeton heads to uh, Piscataway to take on Rutgers. Rutgers laying seven. Uh, Big Ten more interesting in football or basketball going forward. Basketball this yeah, year by, yeah. by a mile, yeah. right? Yeah. They're a basketball conference now. <laughs> R.I.P. to the Pac-12. Now it's gonna be it's gonna suck. We won't know who to bet on come tournament time. <laughs> like who's gonna be completely disrespected and show up in the tournament and just beat everyone's ass. <laughs> Uh, Rutgers. I can't wait to see Rutgers come out to Westwood, <laughs> taking a game at you. It's not far from my house. I'll I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I, I, yeah. I, you anyway, know. anyway. Yeah. Uh, come on. Uh, I assume I haven't even looked at my numbers for this game, um, but I assume I'm gonna love the back cutting, uh, white boys of Princeton. I mean, how about that run last year for Princeton? You know, I, this it's is a well coached team. A good little in-state battle. They still run the Princeton offense. Yes, Mitch uh, Henderson doing the damn thing. Um, and you know, we're just trying to get back up to speed. You know? Yeah, I yeah. just want to make sure. I mean, you never know. You got, I mean, Wisconsin's you got, running yeah, the air. Wisconsin's That's running true. the air. Dairy raid. Dairy raid. Um, no, but but obviously, you know, Princeton loses a lot of a lot of key guys from a year ago. So I, I'm actually I'm actually you but don't so you don't just walk into the rack. No. You know what I mean, and get a dub. No, you don't. But you 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 get a loss by four points. Rutgers is fairly experienced. <laughs> Maybe <but> three <laughs> points. Princeton will, Princeton will hit some free throws late. They play oh, good look. clean ball. Give me Princeton plus seven. You like their free throw sh- shooting? I I I'm just gonna They're, go out of which, limb and say they shoot good free. By throws. the way, I'm sure CJ's not watching, but <laughs> CJ trying to defend Ben Simmons' bad free throw <laughs> shooting earlier in the office. Oh, you're one of those guys who thinks they should make every shot. I I. I <laughs> No, yeah. It is called a free throw. I mean, if you're a professional basketball player, you should be making seventy percent. Yes. Yeah. Bare minimum. I, I'm yeah. not. I would never say that I was ever even close to an average basketball player. But at times, you can figure out how to make a <laughs> shot. I mean, that, Rick Barry did that shit underhanded. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's embarrassing. And then they that, that, then they said Shaq's hands were too big. And then Mark, Yao Ming, yeah. who's got bigger hands, was like ninety percent from and the now free you throw get line. these European donkeys that are just draining threes yeah. from mid court. So Shaq was too busy having cocktails, yeah. creating video games. What was that song he did? Can't Sha- stop the rain. Sha- Shaquille came, O'Neal. Shaq came at the perfect time because Shaq today. You know when shoot to pass pass slam. Think Let's about fucking how, go. Think about I know how, about all those. Hits. Think about how enabled Shaq would have been in this culture. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, Shaq would have been playing at four hundred pounds. Paid in college. <laughs> oh, Andy would have been playing at four hundred pounds. So uh, I'm taking the points with Princeton here. No, Colby's on my, records. My number is uh, six. Benedict Antold uh, making a return in the chat. Good to hear from him. He's saying Princeton, a little young, need to figure some stuff out. He he thinks it's oh, a start. Okay. Yeah, I'll stick. I'll stick with Princeton. That's that. Those sound like very smart, coherent takes. But sometimes you got to stand on an island. All right, one more 4 p.m. start here. Uh, heading to Boulder, Colorado, taking on Towson. How much do they pay Towson to come all the way out to Boulder? That's a weird matchup. Colorado <laughs> minus 15. We used to fuck Tow. Towson was like our pay to play game in, in rugby in college. So who knows what they're doing, making their way all the way out to the Rockies. They were uh, good last year, man. Twenty-one and twelve season for Pat Scary, but their defense. But Colorado, is pretty bad. Co- it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but Colorado is a team that always is 
has just insane athletes. No, I mean this is supposed to be like I've been a Buffs fan my whole life, and uh, this this is sp- like honestly the most talented roster they've ever really? had. KJ Simpson they've had some talented roster. KJ Simpson, the son of OJ Simpson, is back at the point spot. Um, is that it- no, he's OJ not. Is not okay. I like to think he is. We don't is know. It, uh, can we I get assume, a DNA fucking <laughs> check on I, that? I assume Deion Sanders has a son playing on this team as well. <laughs> uh, that he should. He should. I mean, put Shadour yeah. Sanders. Yeah. You don't think that yeah. kid can hit a oh, jumper? Wow. But Jesus. dude, they got Eddie Lampkin coming in from TCU. They got Trista De Silva, the, the 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 brother of Oscar De Silva, the former Stanford forward. And then they got a top. Depending on where you go for recruiting. Some say he was the top recruit in the nation, Cody Williams. A I'm sure it forward. helps. Whatever Dion says, we coming. Doing. He says we coming. Well, w- once you bin- build the infrastructure to pay kids, yeah, it yeah. works for both sports. What, so. did, what did Schwarzenegger say in Pumping Iron? It's like I'm coming when I go to the gym. It's like I'm coming, <laughs> coming when I'm when at I'm home. Iron. I'm coming when I'm at home. I'm coming when I'm smoking weed. Woo! <laughs> it's smoking my weed. That's every day I come. You have to know when to come. Colorado. Early elevation, love that angle. Oh, better athletes, nice. better, um, better program. They and Towson, not great defense. They're gonna put it on Towson. Give me, uh, it's a big give me Colorado number. laying the big laying number. the massive number. Too big of a number, yeah, man. A Tad number. Boyle. T- look, I, I'm excited about this Buffs team, but is I his think name really Tad Boyle? Tad Boyle, man, entering I, year 14. I gotta be honest. I I have I've recently had a an adult a, adult run in with a guy named Tad Boyle. Hmm. Makes me want to switch my pick to Colorado. We coming? <laughs> no, I'm seriously. It's the closest I've come to like uh, getting in a physical fight with a, a an adult in many years. Guy, the guy's name was Tad Boyle. So I mean, I'll take the points. I think it's a little bit too much, man. I think it's a little bit too much. I think the Buffs Buffs will win, but it's a little bit too many points. So, all right, I'm going with the Colorado Buffaloes, and uh, I'm also going over to Prize Picks, baby. Love the prize picks action, higher, lower on your favorite fantasy uh, players, the stats. Uh, it is DFS and it's it's DFS simplified. It's very easy. Just go higher, lower. You can do cross sports stuff. You want to tie in uh, Joel Embiid with maybe a little uh, Dallas Goddard. You can do that over on prize picks. Um, the best, my favorite part about prize picks, they offer the reboot policy. So that your entries stay in play, even if one of your players gets injured uh, for football and basketball games. If you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return the second half, that player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Again, it's simple to play. It's great for the great for the primetime games. It because it, it's just you know you put a couple put a couple players in. You go three for three. You go, uh, you win five X. It's just that simple. Uh, go to prizepicks.com slash S G P N and use code SGPN for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash S G P N code S G P N prize picks daily fantasy sports made easy. Real quick update. Uh, the guy's name was not Tad Boyle. I'm safe to take Towson with Colby. Oh, it's easy to see a tight turn Sean. Well, Tad is a very punchable name. All right, <laughs> 5 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. I'll let Colby explain why we're discussing Bradley UAB. Because uh, I think Birmingham, this could be two tournament teams. This Birmingham year. And, is laying four and a half. And My real, number is seven, so you know where I sit. Well, I mean, Bradley's been great since fucking Hershey Hawkins. And uh, look, they, they're a good program. I think this team can do it this year. Why? Well, I, I think they're a very good team in the in the in the MVC. Who are you? T- oh, I was going to say like this would be great if Colby does this whole thing, and it's like which team was Colby talking about? <laughs> The Bradley Braves, I think, can play. I, I honestly think they could be a team we see in March. Oh wow, Jesus! Yeah, you can't do that these days. Sean. Why not? Um, so hold my arm down. Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, I really do think this team. They, they add in Amari and Ellis from Marquette and Trey Pettigrew from from Nevada to a already experienced team. I think they're very good. And then UAB. Yes, they lose Jelly Walker, but as as welcome UAB, our, our longtime fan will say, Andy Kennedy just reloads in the portal and. He did a fantastic job bringing in a bunch of talent from all over the country. So uh, I, I think this is like a, a really good, one of the best games on on the opening day slate. Can, can you What's imagine that? if Jerry Jones had to talk about the portal? He would make so <laughs> many mistakes. So wait, you're on you're on Bradley here, Colby? Uh, no, I'm actually going to take UAB. I think that's, I think that's you too son of a bitch. Yeah, I think I think I, I think <laughs> son of a Craig, bitch. Correct me if I'm wrong. He sounded pretty positive well, about I, Bradley. I, I said my number is minus seven for UAB. He then goes on this this diatribe. I'm like, oh well, shit. 
He's making a lot of good no, points. No, no, about I think Bradley. both. I'm saying both these teams. I think are could be tournament teams this year. <laughs> He's picking both teams, but I think you've got to go teams. with the home team. You yeah. said, "Why is the game on the slate?" Yeah. I'm making oh, a case I for gotcha. both teams being That's decent. That's fair. Yeah. Answering my questions a fair reason to uh, be talking. So it's in Birmingham, though. I, I, that's a I think this edge. number should be uh, seven. So yeah, give me UAB uh, I, minus four and a half. Have, have they gotten clearance for the dragon on the? Court still side? Wait, yeah. We're still waiting for that. Still waiting for that. How do you but... not just get Cisco in the building? <laughs> yeah, what is Cisco <laughs> doing? He's not doing shit anymore. Cole, Kramer, hey. are you are you riding UAB or oh, you? UAB minus seven is my number. You okay. think I'm going to disobey my number like that? No, you are. A I save guy. I save those types of situations for fading <laughs> the Cowboys. Five p.m. An, uh, another five p.m. tip. Lexington, Kentucky. Oh boy, we uh, nothing like. Uh, I was surprised you didn't go with the, uh, the 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 wildcat noise that we have on the board. <laughs> the Kentucky Wildcats right. host the New Mexico uh, <laughs> State. What 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 are the New Mexico? Oh, they're the Aggies. They got the shooting uh, guns. Only I, the best mascot. Okay, I, why in sports. do I not think they changed their name? Were no. you angry about them changing their name because it's got guns? No, that's George Washington. Crime pays. If Colby anything, says. New Mexico State has Whoa. a great gun logo, and then their players even used one last year. It was <laughs> didn't, just didn't the so wait, their their entire season was canceled. Right? Ah, just a little. But the coaches hit the gun. Dust right? up. Yeah, the coaches hid the gun. There was oh. also some. Uh, <laughs> Alleged hazing. I don't Unity. know. I don't know if they did one of Pat Fitzgerald's car washes in the uh, in the uh, locker just, room. They don't. It's, that's tougher when you don't have any fat guys on the team to blame just for just doing fat guy stuff. <laughs> that was the best quote that came out of it. Yeah, they were just doing weird fat guy stuff. Yeah. Like people, like what are you? Well, one of the things was this the, is the car wash. <laughs> well, one, one of my favorite uh, moments of that Northwestern shit was that they claimed that someone kept giving them the flying squirrel. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just picturing Patty C doing it. It's gotta be some type of tea bagging, right? Disgusting yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm I'm just picturing a squirrel flying and I I'm doing the Nuts math. Nuts landing somewhere. Yeah, I'm doing the math. <laughs> I'm just, I mean shit never gets unfunny. This Didn't I don't know if the flying squirrel happened in Las Cruces, but either way, crime does pay. But but yeah. but don't don't we kinda like New Mexico State? I mean, if anything, I mean <laughs> They have a huge prove it spot against Kentucky, who could mm. be looking past them here opening night. They're, I mean, what as far as the roster, who did they lose, Colby? Uh, their entire roster and their <laughs> okay. coach and their coach. But so is that bad? I mean, I mean, the, the last year they were hiding. They guns. haven't shot anybody yet. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, I would say, I would say, like th this roster is still talented. It's New Mexico State. They've actually. I think I did did a deep dive on them last year, coming into last season, which I know they had a losing season because they they quit in the middle of the season stuff. But I want to say they they've had like only like five or six losing seasons since like the 1960s. This is a good program. So uh, I like I like uh, Noah B's point, producer over on the college basketball and football experience. New Mexico State is a total wild card. Kentucky returns nobody except for Austin Reeves. Uh, Ahmad Bradshaw is hurt, and that's Cal's favorite player this year. Stay away, New Mexico State. If anything, I, I just think the wild card aspect to me is worth a roll of the dice at eighteen and a half points. Definitely, and I think Jason Hooten they brought in is a good coach. He brings in one of his guys from Sam Houston, and then uh, you know I think some of the other players that come in, uh, you know Brandon Suggs from UCF. If you watched him, I thought he could play. Um, and th there's enough guys on this roster where I feel like they're talented. So um, I I. Give me the points. And, Give me the and points. And a half is a lot for opening might have, night. Might have uh, Ashley Judd there or something watching the games. Who gives a <laughs> hell, right? Kramer, are they looking ahead to Texas A and M? Yes. Commerce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. All right, I'll take the points. <laughs> that, was, go. that was good. I like what you did there. Kansas is uh, on November fourteenth, but they they do have a, a doozy. Against the uh, the old, the commonly beat up remote campus of Commerce, Texas. <laughs> you, ever, they, uh, you ever been to Commerce Casino? Oh, what, uh, I, you know, Nor I ran into Norm McDonald at the Commerce Casino. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I spent some time playing poker down there. What to do comedy or to? <laughs> no, I, uh, I was driving. Or, oh, he was uh, definitely gambling. I was driving back from the on the five, and it's right off the five. And uh, I was listening to the radio, and they they were like, "Yeah, we got this poker tournament." Blah blah blah. And so I, I just like turned, I pulled off. I walked around and I saw Norm McDonald. I was like, Hey, Norm McDonald, what's up, man? And I'm like, are you, 
hey, are you in this tournament? He's like, yeah, I'm losing all my money. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I was just driving by. I saw there's a poker tournament on the radio. Came by to check it out. He's like, ah, oh, yeah. Well, hopefully you win. I didn't win any money. <laughs> and then he just kind of rambled no, off. Norm, but. Norm's the greatest. Oh, man. legend. I, I, I met him a couple times too, man. Great guy, and obviously true DJ. Oh. True DJ. Yeah. Hashtag Dejans only. No question. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, and I, I, I meant to mention during the prize mm-hmm. picks reads. Uh, the uh, the higher lowers, the more or less are not out yet, but they do have them for college basketball. So, oh, man. Uh, perfect time to hop in. And if you are a, a super sharp like Colby, I think there's a, a ton of money to be made because I, I just don't think they know how to price these or project this kind of stuff, especially college uh, basketball. I mean, it's one thing college football, but college basketball, I think, is a bit unknown for some of these guys. I certainly think if you know what you're doing, you can do well on the college streets. All right, one hundred percent. Shout out to Froton. See a lot of. I see a yeah. Shout out to. Fr- I see a lot of screenshots of uh, same game parlay winners from uh, Jake Paquin as well. Ooh. Six p.m. on the West Coast. We're heading to Stillwater for Oklahoma State. Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian catching eleven here. Uh, Colby, another game. A little you know, somewhat puzzled as to why we're talking about it. Oh, okay. I understand. Well, not meant to be an insult. Some of us are just ramping. Some people won't even be watching college basketball for months. We're ramping up right now, and so that was a way for you to uh, uh, present to the. Well, Mike Boynton's a good coach at Oklahoma State. I think you know they had these ridiculous sanctions. You know they they got penalized for 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 admitting that they went out of their way and said, "Hey NCA, we think we did something wrong." And it's like, yeah, you're not going to the tournament. It's like, meanwhile, Will Wade's like, "Let's give him a strong ass offer. I'll I'll pay for that son of a gun." Right, and then next thing you know, he's not he's not in trouble at all, and no. and same with uh, Bill Self. But uh, well, no. they're good programs, that's why. I mean, Oklahoma State's solid. You know what I mean? They kick back more money. True, true. That's probably there's that's some politics, it. man. Yeah. Um, but Oklahoma State could be a dangerous team this year. Um, they do lose lose a lot of. But, key uh, but Abilene but Christian, I feel like, is not usually horrible, right? The, no, they're normally good, man. They're they're, they're normally like a decent, a decent bunch. considering their school size. They struggled last the program. year. Program. But over the years, they've been a pretty good mid-major man, and uh, they got their 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 backcourt. They got a lot of minutes back. I'd say Emmanuel Allen and g- great name here, Hunter Jack Madden. Ooh, Come on, Hunter Jack. Can't He's fade. one of those guys who will get penetration. It's, it's Hunter Dash Jack. <laughs> for those wondering, so his name's actually H. Takes J. a brave man for his, Jack. His Madden. name's actually H. J. Madden. <laughs> So his sounds like something I would use uh, <laughs> while playing NFL Blitz. Like, enter your name. Oh, HJ a- Madden, Hunter Jack. Like, how did this happen? Did the wife wouldn't wouldn't settle on Hunter, so she demanded it be Hunter Jack. Hunter Jack. That sounds awesome. Oh no, I I need a car Jack, not a Hunter Jack. I think you got to take the points though. Uh, really? Yeah, I do because I think they're they're just athletic enough, and the the fact that they returned so many minutes. From a year ago, I think they have oh, a little yeah. bit of a step up on Oklahoma State, who did lose, you know, Avery Anderson, Boone, and Musa Cisse, and, and Tyreek Smith and company. But that's why I think you got to go for for early on in the season. You want to pay attention to shit like that. So give me the points and and AC on the road. Great call. Probably also the reason to take Rutgers and not Princeton, huh? Mm. But they don't have a lot of minutes return. Okay, as much. You know what I mean? Like they they no, took yeah, some I, hits. I yeah. like this one. Um, ABC plus eleven. I'm oh, with you. I'm I, s- I want to say I was on Sam Houston against Oklahoma State the first night of the season last year, and that hit on the money line. Guy's name is Hand John, and there's also a John Michael on the other team. So hyphenated first names are back, guys. Six fifteen, and Discord gets another pick. Uh, Discord picking up uh, a, a couple nice uh, heavy favorites here with Kentucky and Oklahoma State. All right, six fifteen on the West Coast. We're heading to Brookings, South Dakota, where Akron. Takes on South Dakota State. South Dakota State laying one and a half. Does Akron use the tie the turnover tire for basketball as well? Got to make sure that thing doesn't get loose. Roll. Oh, I like how you were watching action. I, you know, just just when I thought you you snorkeled in football too, you were watching some action. I've spent (laughs) decent amount of time in Ohio. I know the respect they have for the great uh, compound of rubber (laughs) in the form of a uh, cylinder used to coat wheels. Uh, tire. Great tire talk. That's I put this here, here for us. I guys. ran out of steam there. I what put, do you mean uh, you put this here for so, us? So, so 
First off, South Dakota State keeps a really good program. You remember a few years oh, ago yeah. with Dom and everybody. Oh my god. Um, they keep a good program. They go to the tournament often. So this and this could be one of those years, especially now that Max Asmus is gone uh from Oral Roberts, that this they, they they could be the team to beat now. So the other side of the coin is Akron. A year ago, we were or two years ago, we loved Akron. They almost yes. beat UCLA in the opening round of the tournament. Oh, that was a fun run. Uh, Zips. Last year, you guys, I think, maybe foolishly, I, I I know I took Kent State in the Mac in the Mac tournament, and Kent State won that thing. But Akron lost their top guy, Xavier Castaneda. You might remember him. But it's two, a great name. Two years ago, when we were on them, so, they had Ali Ali, and he transferred to Butler yes. last year. I almost confused him with Acock. Acock. <laughs> <laughs> they had Ali Ali, who had a, several game winners that year. Well, he was in Butler. He was in Indi- Indianapolis. He realized, man, this town sucks. He jumps back to Akron, Ohio, and he's back on the team. and And I, I think he's gonna have a big time year. And they still have Enrique Freeman, the big man. So, I think this game's awesome, and I think we should be taking Akron back. To, remember, remember opening night? They almost beat Ohio State at Ohio State a couple years yes. ago, two years ago. So yes. yeah. last year, and a lot of those guys are still on. In our conference tournament episode, we took Kent State and Akron. I took Kent State, right? We we all took Kent State and Akron oh, we together. Took, we we okay. took the same teams. I'm just letting you know. I know I, I bet I, Kent State. Transparency, yeah. transparency. <laughs> um, yeah, but but now we got a squad, man. They they got a lot of guys back from those teams. I think this is this is the play. This here. happens every year. I love the Mac. I love rooting for Mac basketball teams early in the year. Summit League is soft. A bunch of fucking fly boys from from <laughs> South Dakota, North Dakota, probably run a nice system with some back cuts. Let me guess, they they, they can probably hit a nice jumper from the that corner. place will probably be lit though. Because uh, what else are you gonna yeah. do, Brookins? Athletes versus guys who play good basketball and shoot well. Yeah, Akron. I don't want to, you know, not making this about anything. I'm on Akron happen. all day too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wrong team. There are squad favor. this year. I'm just Akron, gonna go ahead and say all day Akron. Yeah. Should we get some Akron shirts? We should. Okay. Maybe we they win a game or two first. After they win this game, we're getting the show. Well, either way, I'll, I'll bring some used tires. Someone said I'll bring some cool. used tires. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why do we not? We Every t- college football team has some like turnovery gimmick. <laughs> why do we not have one for here? What's right, our? We, uh, I'll get some used tires. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll pick up a mystery. Oh, I mean, you I have know, a great yeah. podcast. Sean, read. You get a tire around uh, you, or it's a it's a set of big balls. Oh Te- yeah, <laughs> teaser alert to this weekend. Uh, Colby, you'll understand. It's not actual testicles. Don't worry. Yeah. 7 p.m. on the West Coast. We're heading back to Las Vegas from what I'm guessing is the nightcap. Yes. Yes. Of the game. Wow, that's a big gap between basketball. Yeah, no, and games. especially in Vegas. What are you they know what doing? They're, doing? <laughs> they're making they're making it so you can't use one ticket for both events. Assholes. USC, uh, which I think is going to carry a little bit of notoriety this year, uh, floating around with them. They're, Bronny. they're taking on Kansas State. USC laying three here. I mean, it sounds like LeBron structured Bronny going to USC so that he didn't have to play and he didn't have to be uh, made look like a fool. Similar to what the Mannings are doing with Arch at Texas, knowing he's probably not ready to shine on the on the stage yet. And and doesn't this just do, isn't USC one of these teams you just want to fade until you see him prove it? I mean, they they brought in a top top recruit in America. Oh, I, I Besides, know. and I'm not talking about Bronny James. Um, no, no, he's not the he's not a topper. His brother's better than him. His brother's a better yeah. prospect than him. That's uh, that's gonna suck being the older brother. Your dad's LeBron and your younger brother's better than you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and you're not even a, a grown man yet. No, I'm with Kramer. I think uh, I think you gotta fade USC early until they figure it out. Now, well, now we should note that Naquan Tomlin, the, uh, the the one of their K State's best players, uh, oh no. is suspended indefinitely for what. We don't know, <laughs> but uh, well, again, you know what I mean. We don't know. Only. He, he, do you have to deliver a gun? I, Listen, no. I was just doing DoorDash. The heat was in the hat, but uh, but the, and they remember last year they were a fun team. Marquise no, uh, Noel, Keontae Johnson, those guys are all gone. But they brought in Tyler Perry from uh, from North Texas, dog, and Arthur Coloma from Crichton. I do Michael love Crichton. I do love Big K-State, Twelve basketball. It, all in on K yeah. State I'm, here. I'm taking K State too, man. Jerome As a Tang's home dog. My guy. They're a live yeah. dog, if you ask me. Wait, Jerome Tang. Where's his coaching? What's his ch- Jerome Baylor guy? Baylor guy. Scott Drew. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we do like Jerome Tang. We 
We that was the uh, guy we watched a bunch of press. You, you put the press conference. We wa- God's <laughs> eye watched like a couple hours. Oh, uh, there was tank. a great shot of him last year before he ever coached a game at K State. He was like front row at the K State game and the uh, football game. Looked like he was doing some Jaeger bombs with some <laughs> with some fans. So well, you won me over then. Who's having more fun after the game, USC or Kansas State in Vegas? That's the other handicap with the USC kids. Is they go to Vegas all the time? Yes. Yeah. I mean, Br- Bronny James isn't like, ooh, I can get a free drink at the Excalibur. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think he's excited by that. Whereas, does Bronny play? If you're some guys on K yeah. State, whereas you, you're a, uh, you might find Will that, McNair Jr. saying, "I'm in fucking Vegas." Yes. Who's, who's this Scott Bowser if, if, guy? If you're hey. Arthur Kaluma, you might find yourself at the uh, Peppermint Hippo. <laughs> wow. Uh yeah. So we're all in Kansas State, I guess. Yeah, uh, but the, the the nightlife angle, I think, could hurt Kansas State here. Nah, this this probably. Hey. I love parlays. You love parlays. You're listening to the sports gambling podcast. And if you're putting together a parlay uh, this weekend, tonight, whenever you're listening to this, you got to use hall of fame bets. It is a great tool. I, I don't know. However you, whatever your process is for putting together parlays, you, you look up the stats page, you dig deep, you poke around hall of fame. Bets saves you a ton of time. Very easy to just put in, Hey, this player, um, you know, da- uh, AJ Brown, uh, receiving yards. And you can see he's had over 125 receiving yards last six games with the touch of a button makes it super simple, super easy. Uh, and they automatically calculate the expected probability. They optimize your parlay, giving you hit rates by each leg. And then they give you what your price should be. You can shop around, make sure you're getting a good price or adjust your parlay, whatever to fit your needs. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with hall of fame bets to craft more intelligent data driven parlays, download the hall of fame bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with hall of fame bets. All right. Couple more games to go. Uh, somehow Colby didn't make, turn it into a 16 game slot. Wow. Colby, I thought you liked the fans. We're heading out west, 7:30 here on the west coast in San Diego. We got the Aztecs of San Diego State. Our, Our gals. gals, there we go. Decker wouldn't trade last Ooh. year's run for anything. Uh, they're taking on Cal oh, State. Oh man, remember his reaction? They're taking on Cal State Fullerton. He went to the fucking game. He brought his wife to the game. Do you remember that? Big spur of the moment. In he Houston, said, Texas. Yeah. I'm going to the game. Yeah, yeah, that was great. He he, he celebrated the first win here. In this studio, and then uh, said, "Fuck it, I'm going to the game." San Diego State back minus fourteen and a half here, Colby. Uh, I assume you you're bringing them up just because they're our gals, not because Cal well, State yeah. Fullerton's tickling your uh, your whistle. Well, no, this and year. they played the Natty last year. I feel like they we got to talk about them. You know what a great run that was. How many great fucking games? How about that game winner? What was that? The Elite Eight? Oh my! Or was God. that the Final Four? That was the Final Four. Final Four, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so. Uh, this this game opened up last year. This was the season opener last year, and and, and the Aztecs so beat, run beat, it back. The, beat the piss out of him by like twenty four points or something. If memory serves me correct, um, and and now I mean I think you look at what Fullerton Fullerton went out and used the portal. I I don't think they're ready for this matchup because San Diego State returns uh, Lade. They return Micah Parrish, Lamont Butler. Is is this could be? But could this be a sleepy spot for San Diego State? You just had the biggest moment in your uh, school's history. Season. Yeah, but we see this all the time where teams who lose a Super Bowl, lose a lose a big oh. NBA Finals, whatever, start slow in that opening game. I don't think so. I love what they did. First off, Darian Trammell back, also uh, the former Seattle uh, player. But Reese, they went out and got Reese Walter, uh, Reese Waters from uh, USC, and then they brought in Jay Powell from the Campbell Camels. Uh, I think the starting five might even be better than a year ago. So yeah, and yeah. We'll, we'll find Sandy, out. You're, you're yeah. right. San Diego State's going to put it on. We'll find win out. by like twenty. We'll find out quickly. They have BYU on Friday. Uh, yes, November Friday 10th. slate. We're going to do an episode before that. Okay, because it's fire. Yeah, we'll yeah. work that out. And then we have. Uh, they also have St. Mary's coming up a Friday, a week from that Friday. So. Couple early tests. They also have some interesting matchups here, uh, Colby. I noticed that this uh, San Diego State will be playing Point Loma Nazarene, and also Saint Catherine. Got to get them in there. Any any idea what levels those schools? D two. Got to be D two. Okay. Got to be. Yeah, D2. we're all on yeah, San Diego yeah. State here. The number the number should be sixteen and a half if I was making it. All right. 
a lot of people reached out. They said, don't just do games on Monday because we need to hear you <laughs> a talk yeah. about Stony Brook and their program this year. The sea wolves and B which love a sea wolf and B well, watch the language here. <laughs> Stony Brook's taking on St. John's uh, on Tuesday, 4 PM Queens, New York. Again, uh, Patino referenced it. Didn't even have to move oh, to man. take the new job. St. John's laying 14 and a half as well. I, I did read an article like several years back about how they think dog and dolphin came from the same origin, and there they found some <laughs> dolphins with hind legs. Perhaps that is a seal. dude. I'll, I'll tell you when I we so we have a it's a half a dachshund, half chihuahua, chihuini, a chihuini. Uh, when we take sea that wolf? when we take that thing out on the on the kayak in the marina, <laughs> it one hundred percent is having a conversation with those fucking seals and sea lions. Yeah, they're related. I'm saying. They do the same shit. In. They lay around. I, I read an article too about the uh, the rooster and the T Rex. Ooh, being, interesting. Being the same. Well, they are, the dinosaurs are birds. We yeah. are now finally accepting that theory. So we eat T Rex. <laughs> we, we eat T Rex. Often. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of dinosaurs, Patino. <laughs> great, di great diner be. scene in New York City. Dinosaurs or diners? <laughs> He's a dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. Rawr, take me to your waitress. <laughs> Uh, shows getting bring off the rails. Me, yeah, uh, no, I mean it's just it's like that scene in um in that movie where he fucks the apple pie. I'll have a fresh piece of apple pie. <laughs> Isn't that what he did? He like ordered fake. Oh, he, he like got a, it yeah. a la mode, baby. But wasn't that the the gimmick? Like he didn't know when to he like, he, like, he didn't have time for her bullshit. <laughs> he just he had <laughs> shit he had to do. All right. He ordered something on the menu. It's like we 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 gotta we gotta know uh, we gotta catch a flight, go play in Maui. All right. Well, all right. So uh, where does St. John's play? Queens, New York. They're going to be uh, playing a shit ton of games at the Garden. This is not one of them. I, I'm I'm curious, um, ma mainly because last year what we would do is we evaluate the diners in the area. <laughs> oh, uh, it's like him, James Harden well, in for the him. Oh. And remember, Dick Patino's kids. Is he still coaching up at uh, uh, Minnesota? In Albuquerque? Oh, no, wow, no, that's no, right, no. New Mexico. It was New previously Mexico. Minnesota. Yeah. 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 Um, what is the name of this uh, stadium? Like father, like son. What is the name of the uh, stadium? Right, we right can now. move along, but. Uh, Hold on, hold on. I got oh, you. Oh, I got you. Oh, Col 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 Brook is no joke, though. The Sea Wolves can play some ball, but uh, look, this is called the what is that? Uh, Carnesecca Arena. Oh man, that's that's got to be like an Italian thing. All right, I got it. I'm I'm I'll let you. I'll I'll be. Uh, I'm loading up some diners in the area right now. <laughs> I mean, so so Colby, I assume we're all on Carnesa? St. John's here. Is that Carnesa? What is that? How do I pronounce that? Um. How far is the uh, the closest uh, diner from there? I'm I'm doing it right now. No, you got to take Saint. Dude, Rick Pitino's back in New York City. Yeah, you got. Yeah. All right. No, he's in, he was in New York City before. Eh, not really. Now he's fully in New York really. City. All right, he's he, fully in New York City. I'm going. Move. I'm going Stony Brook. <laughs> this is too. This number's uh, too high. What? Yeah. He saw them lose. Uh, did Noah send you a DM about? They lost to a D two team in a preseason game. Yes, it's called preseason for a reason, guys. All right. <laughs> Didn't Patino lose? Did the Tony Eagles Brown. go undefeated in preseason, Sean? No, no. no. See? Why not? Because it's preseason. Doesn't matter. Mm. This is college mm. basketball. Preseason matters. Give me Stony Brook plus fourteen and a half. All right. I'm looking. All right, here we go. We got the Supreme Diner. Looks like it's around the corner. They got some nice pie here. I, I think this could be a situation that, that where might be exactly. I'm looking at a photo that it looks like it looks like perhaps the scene in in uh, American the, Pie. The um the stadium's named after the old St. John's coach. FYI. Oh, I I I knew that. Colby can't read. Uh, yeah. Benedict yeah. Dantold yeah. is really disappointed. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Colby! Yeah, you really, Colby. This is if if you were listening to a show, he's gonna fall on his own sword. Yeah. You'd come in, you'd no, be like, that, oh, is, that is pretty bad. That they is don't bad. even know they're yeah. talking about St. Yeah. John's. Yeah. Carnoustie. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm laying the points with Tino too. You guys are crazy. He's crazy. Our, He's got the spirit of fucking New York Sean, City with him. Our Lord, you don't have the, you don't have Jimmy Beheim anymore. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. You hey, gotta, what are you gonna do with no Beheim this year? I don't know. Colby, he, this is Sean being racist towards Italian American. Oh wow, <laughs> that's why he's not doing it. I assume the Stony Brook coach is not Italian American. <laughs> Makes the decision very easy. Oh man, Auburn I, and Colby squeezed another Tuesday game in here because Auburn's taking uh, this on game's Baylor. This game fire. What are we doing? Six p.m. Uh, Guess where this game's played? Uh, is that really being played in Sioux Falls, 
Same You're goddamn game. right. Why are right? they playing? Well, yeah. There? Why is Auburn and Baylor? Playing these the are Bowl? these are uh, you know these are institutions of higher learning. They're going to take you to see the Badlands, dude. Right? You know what this is? <laughs> is this like a field trip? Bruce, Bruce Pearl trying to get his recruiting uh, roots down. I have no idea down. why they chose this fucking location. This this is this is fantastic. Hey guys, it's between the Bahamas and uh, <laughs> Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You know, I've never been to Sioux Falls. All right, so, let's let's go check out someone, the Badlands. You know what it is? Someone saw the S I O U X and just assumed it was in Louisiana. <laughs> they thought, well, like, all right, we're going somewhere. Honestly, uh, the Pentagon is, is uh, I know Max talking about it. It, 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 this court looks awesome. If you Google, okay. it, just, it looks like the old Boston garden. I, I, I look anytime we can get Bruce Pearl in a suit, sweaty, <laughs> running around, smashing things. Great <laughs> matchup by the way. Oh, this is a great matchup, right? Baylor basketball school. I think they're a basketball. Yeah, school now. Auburn, Auburn basketball. Ba- school? This is a basketball yeah. program yeah. matchup here. That's pretty wild. Uh, I yeah. Well, tell me about Bruce Paul Pearl this year. I, I assume he smashed the portal. Uh, yeah. He's the, oh, come on. Uh, l- let me break down Smash. Auburn sports for you right now. Imagine, imagine Bruce Pearl. They got strip anyone. club freeze. Dude, how great is Auburn right now? They're uh, what I love about them is they know their identity. They went back to it. They they're know like, their identity. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and they got a bunch of big time freshmen that are studs too, man. But they brought in Denver Jones from the airport, and and he, oh, and he can play. Nice. And then obviously, you know, Baylor's Baylor. They're going to be really good again. They they br- got to go Baylor, right? Yeah, they brought in Jaden Jaden Nunn from uh, VCU and RJ Dennis from uh, what was it Toledo. And they're going to be nasty. So, I can't wait to watch all these teams and do some homework. I'm uh, on Baylor. Scott Drew is the answer here, yeah. right? We're, yeah, we're, we're Scott Drew. Big Twelve. Yeah, big, shows up. We're Big Twelve. Shows guys. up. Big Twelve, Pac Twelve. Pac Twelve's going away though, so it's Big Twelve Mac. You guys are on Baylor here. Yeah. yeah. You go. You smashing? Uh, yeah. Come on, Auburn. Yes, I think this is a. I, I like this. One of my fa- one of the best. Uh, one of the best stories of of when when Bruce Pearl got got caught cheating at uh, t- oh, Tennessee like was that it was at a barbecue in his house. He he had players over for a barbecue. And can't what? do the NCA the broken NCA rules. Yeah. It's like Harbaugh with the burgers. What? It's Cause since he didn't charge him for the yeah. food. <laughs> yeah. They came over, they had a fucking, uh, you know, rack of ribs. And next thing you know, God guys, bless improper guys, benefits. Yeah. good news for Bruce. There's a lot of used car dealerships up there in Sioux falls. So he'll feel right at home. What Getting is those recruiting routes down? <laughs> hey, you want to come to Auburn, Alabama? <laughs> I've actually never been to Sioux. Have, have any of you guys been to Sioux Falls? No, no. I haven't, <laughs> I've been to South Dakota much, Colby. I've been to South Dakota. I just haven't been to Sioux Falls. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, you know, if hey, anyone invites me to South Dakota, maybe I'll. You know my take on the flyover I, states. Look, I, I I figured. I know you guys still haven't sent me to uh, Hawaii for the yeah. for the Maui the Maui Invitational. I I I at least thought by now. <laughs> That you guys would send me to Sioux Falls. Yeah, what, you know, what, what happened here? What happened here? What, you guys miss ha- a meeting? What happened? What happens in Sioux Falls uh, <laughs> gets lost in Sioux Falls forever. <laughs> you be careful going up there. They still got saloons up there. I right, we did a good job. I think we did a good job. Yep, got some got some good info. Had some good times. You up or down over there? What you up or down over there? On blackjack? Yeah, I'm killing it. Okay. Uh, we got two locks and a dog. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be electric. Kramer, what do you got? Oh, no. Oh, well, I got to go first. Sure. I will blaze a path to glory. Akron, give me my Mac team. On the lock? Yeah, wrong team favorite. If I say that out loud, I got to take them. And, oh, boy. Um, Colby, I, I think the one, I think it's the, it's the UAB Dragons minus four and a half. Mm. Lock. Dog. All right, which which team is most collected for when the the much better team falls on their face? They're gonna pick up the victory. Is it Abilene Christian? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Abilene Christian on the money line. That grunt is all I need. That was a cocaine Dog. bear grunt. By the way, if you haven't seen CJ's <laughs> pictures of him on Halloween being <laughs> uh, the cocaine bear thing, it's very very fabulous. Uh, yeah, that that feels like a a good Akron Abilene Christian uh, Birmingham a start to the basketball season. Very. <laughs> I like how brand. you you went with all the small schools. I like it. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, come on, I'm Sean's the big uh, the big TMZ major conference honk. Hey, you put my, this on. Oh. You put this on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> He's ready to go snorkeling. 
or it's scuba diving uh, for my first lock. Running it back, San Diego State minus fourteen and a half. Yes. They got a fade. Yes. Other lock. What Colby didn't see was uh, on Halloween when when I uh, wore this for the entire show. <laughs> uh, other lock. I also like. Um, yeah, I'm with Kramer. I'll I'll, I'll steal the Akron Zips at you plus one and a, a half. Bitch. And for my <laughs> dog, Iona, live dog indeed. Iona Gales, aka R Gales, on the money line. Get it done against Charleston. Dog. Colby, quack, quack. Oh, quack. I, I do like Oregon too. Lock up those ducks. All right. Bonus lock. I'll join you. We're in on our zips. They're our team. They're winning. Don't try and steal the zips. And if you live in Akron, please mail us a tire. Doesn't matter size. <laughs> what do you mean? You, preferably used. Oh, we. I got. Uh, I, I got a guy. Well, I got. I got. A I tire. do. I do do weekly uh, radio I got a tire hits. Guy. Radio we'll hits on Akron radio. Uh, uh, get us a tire then. The yeah. dog, Missouri State in Morgantown. <laughs> I was thinking that one. I didn't want. Uh, I didn't want. Uh, I didn't want to upset Matt. I know. And now I got to do a show with him now. Uh, look, every <laughs> night of the season. Every night of the season, we're breaking down every single game. It's true. Check out the college basketball experience. I like how he did. Let's that. go and check out the college basketball picks page as well. Get you covered there. Uh, and of course, check out the uh, NFL picks episode. Just drop that props episode as well. Uh, we got DFS tomorrow and Friday night, nine o'clock Pacific. Our show live on Veasan. You can get it over at Veasan.com. You can uh, listen. It's on a bunch of radio stations, and if you have YouTube TV, aka Sunday Ticket, yeah, uh, you also have Veasan. So V S I N V S I N. Yeah, don't be emb- don't embarrass yourself and tell us you don't have Sunday Ticket. And Benedict Dantel saying sign up for the Patreon. Yes, you get access to all the sheets. Uh, and uh, the great bonus episodes, the Colby Dant bonus episode, a lot of fun. I think you will enjoy that. <laughs> uh, uh, sign up for the Pentagon game too. There you go. Oh, wow. You know, see, what, see, see what we're doing there. <laughs> I like it. There? I mean, it's, it. So the the place in next, Sioux Falls uh, next is year. The next year, I expect I expect a uh, SGP. You know, and we'll get you a one way yeah, ticket to so, San, so, South so Dakota. So <laughs> That's real nice. I'm what does sure that you... run? I guess that's probably pretty expensive. Uh, you don't yeah. just fly into Sioux Falls. I mean, no, that's <laughs> Sean and I thing. travel to Canton every Crazy. year. It's yeah. insanely expensive. You fly in the Denver drive twelve hours. Fun, like... fun secret. It's expensive to go places that everyone want to go to, and also expensive no to way. go places that no one wants to go. The to. cheapest place is like Phoenix, where it's like, yeah. all right, there's yeah, some people going to Phoenix. Passer buyers. You college, know, fo- college football campus tour tells me about this. This travel to this. Oh small yeah, I'm places. sure. Detroit. No. Good yeah. luck getting to Detroit. Yeah, you got to be like four convert for four. What are you talking about? Transfers. What's that? What's that shitty airline? I flew to Detroit. Oh, this was terrible. Oh, Spirit. Oh yeah. That's where they, everyone's yeah. cattle. Just weigh yourself. That was the last time. Well, that was the was first and last time I ever fly. Spirit. I want. I swear. Yeah. We got to start an airline where they just everyone gets weighed and you pay for the poundage you're walking on. <laughs> you and your luggage on the scale. Uh, I know C J Sullivan's doing some stand up in Vancouver. He was he was booking his flight and I I, I can't recall the name here, but he was like. No. Have you heard of Liner? Oh no, L- Liner Airlines. And I was oh, like, no. Oh, no he was sounds- like, you know, they should try this. And I was like, I, I, I don't think you should try that. It was something like that. I don't yeah. know if it was Liner. It was, it was, I but, got some a discount yeah. on some old Russian planes. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh man, folks, if you're in Vancouver or you're in the, you know, yeah, if you're at, if you're at the Pentagon, go check college basketball. A, yeah. If you're if you're in Vancouver, check out the Man of the Box. I'll bleep that out. That's enough plugs for CJ. <laughs> Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the one green. He's Ryan. Special shout out to all the sexy graphic designer bots. Kramer, let it ride.